It's cold in Vienna. Really cold. run and uh, today I'm wearing the Panerai Luminor left-handed and it's a 44 millimeter watch and it's kind of big on my small wrist and we're gonna dive deep on that so I have a very small wrist and um, I have a hard time finding the right watch for me because most of the watches that have um, diameters over 40 millimeters tend to wear a bit bigger on my wrist. And uh, well, if you've ever seen a guy wearing these super huge watches, I'll try to find a picture and put it up here, then you may feel the same way as I do in, well, not liking the way it looks. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to you today about what I think is the perfect wrist size for me and maybe it inspires you to find out what the perfect wrist size is for you. And I hope I can help you with that. So let's check it out. So when I say I have a small wrist, um, I tend to refer to a wrist size that is below 170 um, or 17 centimeters in, in circumference. And um, for me, it's a hard, I have a hard time sometimes finding the right watch for me because if I see something that is in 42 millimeters or 44, it usually doesn't fit me. And when I say usually, I do make some exceptions. And one of these exceptions is this Panerai here. And what I like about Panerai is that they, first of all, they stick to their main DNA with the cases and the design overall, and which is, well, rare in the watch industry. And the other thing I really enjoy about the watch is that most of the times the 44 millimeters really feel quite exceptional on the wrist. And this is probably the only exception I would make. Um, I've tried different kinds of watches and even with Rolex and yeah, Rolex, uh, I do have a problem with the sizes. So if you've seen the first video of this vlog series, um, you know that I just recently picked up my AP. And my AP is 36 millimeters in case diameter. And it just sits perfectly on my wrist. And I would not go for the 41 millimeter option. And I probably would not go for the 39 millimeter option as well. What I would look into is the 38 millimeter chronograph. But then again, chronographs tend to be bigger than, than you'd expect. So yeah, finding the right size isn't super easy. It's something you need to try on. Let's try on. Put up a short size guide here and you can download it here and i'll link the article down below as well um, it's from crown and caliber they have a very nice um, story to it as well so to sum it all up um, to have your own watch just go ahead 
and try them out and you will definitely see what kind of size fits you. If you like smaller watches, try out smaller watches. If you like bigger watches, try out how they feel on your wrist. It's all up to your personal style. Have a nice evening.